Hello there, how are you doing? Joe Barnes here from the Social Networking Academy and this is a video. I'm going to walk through how to create a message in the new layout in Aweber. I've seen quite a lot of posts on Facebook with people getting confused with this. Um, so this could form part one <laughs> because there's a few different other settings that we need to do. But in this video, I just want to look at the basic mechanics of creating a message using that new layout. So the first thing we're going to do is head over here to messages and click on broadcast and go through to the broadcast broadcast messages and then we're going to come down here and click on create a new broadcast message so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to pause the video because it takes a little while just to load that new message editor okay so here I am in the main message editor here this is what you're going to see when you first log in um, and the first thing you want to do is obviously insert your subject so I'm just going to say hi this is where you personalize it okay so I'm gonna grab first name it kinda of puts it straight in because it, the first thing it comes up with is subscriber info okay so you're happy with that I'm happy with that um, and then I'm just gonna put test um, email for video okay uh, and then we're going to come down and what you saw kind of flick away there as I created that title were the templates. So let's open the templates and have a look. Now what, what's happening is Aweber are giving you an option to use their templates. Now there is also a function for you to build your own. So we've actually built our own template that will form another video. Um, but you can go through here and use one of theirs if you would like to use their templates. Okay, So you can just scroll through that lot. There's quite a few there and if you want one of your if you want your emails to look like one of these pages then obviously you can use their templates but for the purposes of today's video I don't want to use any templates I'm just going to close that down because I want to create a message just from blank to show you how it all works so first of all if you click on block editor we want to get rid of that so if you click on that gray area you're going to see these little buttons here a red X um, and, a, and a white plus if you just red X it and all of a sudden now you've just got a blank screen okay so the first thing I want to do is put in a logo so I drag my logo down here that gives me my logo button and if I actually click on that then it gives me all of the different functions that I can do with that logo now I have actually saved all of my image URLs and everything in a little text edit file here so that I can um, just put the, the link straight in so I'm gonna grab this link here for my logo and put it in here and then it's just going to validate that which is done very very quickly and now I can just resize that I can just move that in using that little arrow button and just resize that so that it sits really nicely oops on the top of my page so there we go there's my logo now many people don't necessarily display logos so I want to put a little bit of image text in there as well just to encourage people to click or um, see or display Im images in order to actually see the image so when they don't have an image coming up then uh, they're going to see that text instead okay so that's the logo done and underneath the logo what I now want is a headline click outside the uh, logo box to finish and then I can go up and grab my headline and just drag that down below the logo and if I then click on there it opens up the box that I can now go in and change that text so welcome to the SNA for instance and then I can hover over that and up here I've just got a normal editor so I can make it bold I can change the size um, I can center it if I want I can change the style okay so you can just play around with that obviously just in like a normal WYSIWYG so there is my headline now I may want a little bit of extra space underneath my headline I may even want a little bit of extra space above my headline so I'm just going to do that in order to give me plenty of space so there you go there's my headline now what I want to do is start to put in the body of my text so now I can put in a paragraph so I can grab this paragraph down here drag it where I want it to go and now I've got a paragraph so here I can now just highlight over that and say hi and again personalization is up here so if I click on personalize then it's just going to grab the um, personalization that I require and then I can go down here and I can write my message whatever that message may be and just as normal you can put in links okay so I could go and hover over that and click on the little link bar and add a link yeah to that 
so that becomes a clickable link. If I just put in google.com for instance and then it, that's, that's validated as a link. And then I can go down and put in any other text I want to. Now if I wanted to add an image mid uh, message what you'd need to do is set up two of these. So if I come out of that I've set up my text now I want to add an image. So if I bring the image button down now I can click on that and I can actually add an image in here and again what you need is obviously the image URL to show the image and then you can start to place the image wherever you want it to go. You can have it left or you can have it center or you can have it right. It's entirely up to you where you want that image to go. If I want to place a paragraph after the image all I do is click out of here to kind of close that down go and grab the paragraph bar and drag that down here okay now because I've moved the image to the left it's going to bring the paragraph to the right but all you have to do is click on it and then click space and it's going to move your text down below the image and then here you can continue to write your message whatever that may be okay so we're starting to form our message and of course if you click on the image as well then what you can do is place your image URL in there so you can see the image and of course put an image link in so it becomes a clickable image. So if you wanted to put in a video image, a screenshot of a video or something like that like you'll see on some of our emails then that's how you do it. You'd put in an image link in there uh, so that becomes a clickable image. Okay. All right, and then last but not least for me is I want a, a kind of a bottom area. Now there is this signature. I personally haven't u I don't use it. It's a bit limiting. You can bring this down here, look, and you can put in your image in there, um, and then you can change just this bit. Um, so, but I I just find it actually really kind of. If I click on that, you see I can only change those, which is a bit restrictive. I wanted to put all my different Facebook and things in there. So what I've actually done is uh, is create, uh, where's my little document? Here, I've got a picture of me and then all of these links. So that's what I'm going to put in now. So if we go up here, if I just click outside and then grab an image again and bring that all the way down here, I'm going to center that image, click to edit and then grab my text file. Oh, not that one grab the right text file which is that one and then put in an image of me and then I can put in my you know display text etc in there now that's a huge image of me I don't want it to be that big so all I need to do is just adjust that okay um, and that's good that's done and then I can place a paragraph underneath that image like this and then simply click on that and again go and grab my text and there is all my text I'm going to go and grab that and then put that in there. Now this is actually quite interesting because when I first did this um, what, it allowed, what it did is it allowed us to copy from a, a rich text file and it included all the links in there and that suddenly that function has suddenly disappeared which is a bit of a shame which is why we actually went and built our own template so that we didn't have to keep putting the links on every single time but what you would do is obviously just simply hover over these and click link in order to link them to the relevant pages um, that you wanted to and there's your message basically that's kind of that's how, that's that's a basic message that how it, that's how it works if you want to add a bit of space to the bottom then you just need to click in here to give yourself a little bit of space um, if you if you don't necessarily want your address bar coming up right up here straight away and then all you all you do is you click save on your message so it actually saves the message that takes a second and then you can test and preview here so this is what the message would look like obviously this is just an example but that just tells you exactly what it looks like and if you want to edit and change it and do something else then simply click close and that's going to take you straight back to the editor. 
And that's all I want to show you for now, guys. I just wanted to show you the, the, the basics to actually creating a page. Um, I do hope that that has been useful to you and given you a little bit of an insight into how to use um, the, te the templates. Obviously, there are some other buttons up here. I can go into those in, in more videos on this particular subject. Um, but there you go. That's how to create a basic Aweber message in the new layout. So uh, happy message creating and I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye.